we will start by creating a new React project and opening it on Visual Studio Code. Let's run it and see if it's working. Now let's press Ctrl Shift P and select Add Dev Container Configuration Files. Type Node TypeScript and select it. This will add some configuration files and a Docker file where we will be able to run our project. Now let's reopen the project inside the Docker container. Let's run it again and see if it's working. Right now, this React application and its dependencies are completely isolated from our operative system. They are running inside a Docker container. To add debugging to this project, we'll go to the debug section of Visual Studio Code and click Run and Debug to create a launch JSON file. We need to select the Web App option. We also need to change the port to the one we have configured on our React project. In this case, the default is 3000. Let's open the app component and add a little function to demonstrate how to debug inside Visual Studio Code. Now let's add a breakpoint inside the function. We will call this function inside the app component. We can run the debugger by pressing F5. This will open a new browser window with the URL we configured earlier. As you can see, the debugger stops on the breakpoint and we can see the current value of the num1, num2, and result variables. You can continue by pressing F5 again or using the arrow button of Visual Studio Code. Don't forget to share and subscribe and write a comment with your suggestions of what React.js tutorial would you like me to do next. Thank you for watching.